Hello everyone, share technology, share life. In the previous video, I shared with you how to directly install the native Google GMS in the Harmony OS 2 system. I received feedback from some friends that the P50 could not be installed successfully. Then in this video, I will use another solution to install Google GMS, a simple and convenient way to install Google GMS. No computer is required. Just use your Huawei mobile phone to download the app in Huawei's App Store and then use this app to simulate a Google GMS environment to successfully run all Google applications. This is the easiest way and Huawei's P50 can definitely be installed successfully and it is suitable for all Harmony OS 2 mobile phones and tablets. It can be installed directly on Huawei phones and tablets that ships from the factory originally with the Harmony OS system and no need to downgrade the phone system. You can use this Google GMS environment to use YouTube, Google Maps, Gmail, Chrome browser and all Google applications can be used and synchronized normally. Okay, let's go to my Huawei phone and show you how to install and use it. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei mobile phone desktop. Let's have a look of the uh, settings of my phone. Let's go to the settings and uh, let's go to the system and the update to have a look at the version of my mobile phone, Huawei mobile phone. The software, click the software update. You can see that my current version is the Harmony OS 2, the latest version. So I will install the Google GMS onto this uh, Harmony OS 2. Okay, then let's go back to the desktop. The solution is very simple and straightforward. It's very easy to uh, realize these uh, solutions. Okay, let's go to the Huawei's app gallery. Click the app gallery. You can see here the Huawei's app gallery and to a search for the app. The app name is G Space G S P A C E. So you this uh, this applications click that one. So you can find uh, these uh, applications and uh, let's have a look of the introductions. So you can see this is the uh, latest update. Let's go down here. The latest update date time. Let's have a look. Is the uh, August. Third, the August 3rd optimized for better experience, which means this uh, developer is continues uh, continuing uh, developing this uh, app to make it better, to fix some bugs, and to make the user experience even better. So, okay. So then, uh, after you have a look, this the uh, introduction. Then let's go to install. You can see it's not very big, just 6.6 .6 megabyte. So this is the application. And after you install this application, then uh, then we will open it and it will load from the server to load the Google's environment. Okay, now we finished installation. Then we go back to the desktop. So you can see here the G space is already uh, on your desktop. Then we click G space and click uh, start. And some authorization, click allow, allow. To use GSpace, you need to download the necessary kit, which means the necessary Google's environment. Okay, let's click continue. So now let's loading this uh, application. It's very, really, very really fast. So, okay, so it is loading, but don't worry. Then we just go back to the desktop. We need to finish some settings for this GSpace. Go to the settings and go to the uh, apps and services and go to apps and let's search for the G space here G space click that one and uh, then we go to the permissions we give this application some permissions to make it work with compatible with the Google applications first if you want to use Google map then you need to allow the uh, locations authorities okay allow if and if you want to take uh, some pictures then you need to allow the camera and uh, the microphone so if you want to uh, use your microphone then you can give this authority and contact if you want to synchronize your contact with google then you uh, allow this account contact authority and ca calendar it's depend on your own uh, uh, requirement your own uh, necessary so physical activity 
uh, body sensor in apps installation give this apps its permissions and create home shortcut this is very uh, this is necessary to turn it on because you need to put the shortcut onto your uh, mobile phone's desktop so let's allow this permission to make a shortcut okay so uh, for other permissions it depends on your own uh, uh, own uh, requirement so for me i think it is enough for me then let's go back to the desktop so if you want to use a body sensor then you can allow the body sensor yeah job zone is depend on your uh, own owner uh, requirement okay let's go back to the desktop and then we go to the g space click that one then let's uh, but you can have a look you cannot find the uh, google's um, app store but this is very tricky i will show you how to show this uh, google app store it's very tricky you can uh, for example you can long click click that one you will click upgrade A each icon you can get this uh, upgrade I uh, menu long uh, just to click icon then you will see the upgrade change another one long click icon then you will find this upgrade and click upgrade then you will find the uh, google play then we need will uh, easily sign in to the google play it's very easy for you and you can see there's uh, some uh, messages she said your device model is huawei al00 g space is your virtual space device its model is Mate 20 Pro and your account will be logged in on Mate 20 Pro which means it will simulate the, uh, the Mate 20 Pro to log in to the Google's account to uh, let you use the Google's GMS so if you uh, receive the mail said uh, email if your uh, Gmail account received the email said uh, one more model of the phone of the Mate 20 Pro logged into the Gmail account which means uh, you are using the G space which is simulate the uh, Mate 20 Pro to log in this uh, um, Google's app store so don't worry just uh, dis dis dismiss this uh, message then key in your um, Google account the Gmail account okay now we finished uh, the key in the Google Gmail account then click next Okay, then key in your password. Okay, then click next. Don't sync device contact. It depends on your own uh, requirement. I, for me, I just don't sync device contact. Click that one and click I agree. Back up to Google Drive. I switch it off. Okay, and click accept. Okay, so you can see now uh, you can uh, find this uh, Google's App Store was already logged in. Then if you want to go to the main page, you just click the go back. You can see, go back, then you will see this uh, Google's App Store easily. Then if you want to install the like YouTube, just to search YouTube, very easy way. Okay, I will show you how to record this uh, Google's app again. Just You just click long time, click on this icon, then click upgrade. So you will find this uh, Google's app uh, store easily. And go click go back, you will find this app store. And if you want to search for YouTube, YouTube, then you can just search for the YouTube and click install to install this uh, YouTube. Okay, uh, the YouTube is installed successfully. Then let's click on this search bar to search for the Gmail to install the Gmail click install okay the gmail was installed successfully then we let's go to search for the google map search for the map then here this go this one google map and click also install okay google map installed successfully then we go to the chrome to install the chrome browser so you can see this uh, Chrome, but uh, for the Chrome, we needed to change another one. This one Chrome is not uh, compatible with the, uh, uh, this uh, G space. So we needed to find go down. We needed to install the beta version. You can see here just down below the beta version. After you search for the Chrome, right? You, you should not install this one. You needed to install the Chrome down below the beta version here. This one, beta. Click the beta version 
and click install to install this better version which will be compatible with the GSpace Google's GMS environment for this uh, um, Chrome beta. Okay, now we finished the installation of the Google Chrome beta. Okay, so now let's go back to the desktop and uh, have opened the GSpace and uh, let's put those the uh, icon to the desktop. The long time click on the YouTube, create a shortcut, add, and for the Gmail, click uh, create shortcut, add, and for the Google Map, create shortcut, add, and for the Chrome Beta, you create shortcut and add. So you uh, can add, the, install the uh, all the other application uh, using this way, this solution. It's uh, very easy, right? Okay, let's go back to desktop. You can see those the uh, file icon, icon on my desktop. So first we have a run of the YouTube. It's cool, right? So you can see this YouTube is load correctly and you can see the video can be played correctly. Let's go back to the desktop. Let's have a try another Gmail. Let's have a try the Gmail. Okay, uh, we just opened the Gmail. Then we get uh, click on the got it. So you can see this uh, your account already logged in to the Gmail. So you can go take me to the Gmail. You can receive your Gmail's uh, uh, emails and can be synchronized your, your emails easily. Okay, so Gmail can work perfectly. Then let's go back to a desktop again. Then let's go to the Google's map. Click the Google map. Yeah, it's perfect again. You can see the blue blue button, the blue spot already works on the and the location can be located very quickly so the google map also can be work perfectly it can uh, you can use it to do the navigation and uh, synchronize your um, you know your spot synchronize your favorite of the uh, spot of the locations okay let's go back to the desktop again and we have a look at the chrome browser okay the chrome browser Let's click on the switch off and uh, accept and continue. Okay, so you also can see the uh, your uh, Google account also already logged in. Then you can uh, synchronize your favorite, your histories, your login uh, to browse history and your favorite. Okay, let's go to yes, I am in. So now you can using the Google Chrome and your uh, personalized setting can be synchronized using the Google Chrome. Okay, so let's go to the desktop. So with these uh, solutions, you can use all those uh, applications very easily with the uh, simple way. So it can be worked uh, perfectly on your P50 and uh, you can uh, also install the like MatePad, MatePad 11, the, uh, um, the, the pad which originally shipped from the factory, originally installed the Harmony OS 2. So it is a very simple and straightforward way to install this uh, um, Google's GMS and it will work, work perfectly in, on every tablet and uh, um, for the Huawei's uh, mobile phones and tablets. So if you feel this video is helpful, just a thumb up and uh, subscribe to this channel to avoid missing future updates. See you in the next video. Bye bye.